nearly get hit by a car and decided that it was time to step in. Two teenage siblings help a senior citizen who was blind across an intersection almost every yeah. single day. Wow. Yeah, no one knew about it until recently when someone snapped a photo and posted it to Facebook. Angela Ingram talked to the Aiken students about their acts of kindness. If a picture says a thousand words, then this one of a teen holding a stranger's hand says a thousand about the boy's heart. I said, hey, ma'am, you need some help? And she said, sure, and gave me her hand. Then I gave it, gave my hand. We walked. Almost overnight, Dontarius Caldwell became internet famous when someone recently snapped a picture of him doing a good deed and posted it on social media. But the acts of kindness started roughly two months ago when the 15-year-old and his sister were waiting to catch the bus home. She was about to walk across the street that was going that way when the car's going this way. An old man saved her by pulling her back. After that, the kids decided to take turns helping the woman. She was trying to press the, um, the walk across, the button to walk across. And I was listening to music. He was on his phone sitting down waiting for the bus. And I got scared because she was finna walk across the street. So I said, Dr. I think you should go help her. I think she's blind. They have no idea who this woman is. They simply see her after school at the same time at Hamilton and North Bend. And after the social media post, it was clear that their kindness touched others. Everybody needs a helping hand. So I just give my helping hand home. The post was shared on social media thousands of times, and the teen's younger sister shared the news. She said, Dr. is on Facebook when she helped the woman across the street. So I ran to my mom and looked at the picture and it was like shared everywhere. The school gave Don Terry several Aiken hoodies and his favorite candy, which he shared with his sister. Today, the woman did not show up. Maybe it was the rain, but her teenage Good Samaritans were waiting just in case she did. In College Hill, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Uh, glad they're in our community and people have reached out to the family on social media. They've been asking if there's anything they can send to the teens as a gift for their kindness.